it is my considered view that uh, political parties political parties must have in their constitutions a provision which states that uh, positions at the various levels of the structures of a party must be on the basis of 50-50 a ratio. 50 for women, 50% for women, 50% for women. Now, if that internal democracy is not there by way of constitutional provisions of parties, then the women start from a disadvantaged position because they are not on equal footing. That's, that's one. Number two, uh, sometimes women are their own detractors. Uh, during primary elections, knowing fully well that women have a slightly greater number in terms of the ratio, population ratio, but when it comes to elections, you'll find that women tend not to vote for their own. They'll vote for men is something that is worrying. Is it because of petty jealousies? I don't know. But that is the case on the ground. You rarely find women bundling together, trying to convince the electorate across, you know, the sex divide, where they openly say, let us vote for women and try to achieve electoral equity. It's not happening. We are not doing enough collectively in the world, we are not doing enough. 